Fawzia Abdullah Hussein is a mother of six and a widow. Her husband was killed by a mortar and is now buried in the garden of the house. <laughs> He said, I don't know which one. Fawzia does not know whose ammunition took her husband's life, but says her son was accused of being with the ISIS and was picked by the Iraqi forces. He has since not returned. Though on camera, she changes the story. What happened to her son? She Daesh khado lo qat lamni khado. La Daesh. Daesh khado. Okay, she's now changed. He say, my son, he tried to come out, and then ISIS took him. But earlier she said Iraqi army took him. Yeah. So on camera she doesn't want to say it or what? I don't know. I don't want you to ask this question. Fawzia now lives in the Khazir camp with her children and daughter-in-law, and there's not a single earning member in the family. She fears a backlash from the Iraqis if she admits that her son was with the ISIS and was taken by the Iraqi forces. She might be ostracized by the others in the camp once they find out. A video posted on Facebook on June 17th but later taken down showed residents going door to door threatening the so-called ISIS relatives that if they did not leave their lives would be at risk. The other fear is that they might be thrown out of the Khazir camp she lives in and sent to a rehabilitation camp opened specifically for families of the ISIS members. Human Rights Watch has made a case of forced displacement against the Iraqi army and says that the Iraqi government has forcibly relocated at least 170 families with alleged Islamic State links to a rehabilitation camp. In the International Criminal Court, Forced displacement is considered a war crime. Most people we've spoken to say they're relieved that the Iraqi forces have gotten rid of ISIS. That also seems to be the right thing to say. We've met people who say that their loved ones, their husbands and sons, were picked up by the Peshmerga or Iraqi officials because they were accused of being ISIS. But on camera, they changed that narrative. It is a very sensitive time in Iraq and there are no straight answers. But all of them, one day, and hopefully soon, would like to return home. Fawzia says when things are calm, she will return home. Her house is in Azilzili neighborhood, close to the ISIS hub of the old city of Mosul, and it has not been damaged. In Mosul, on the Erbil-Mosul border, Anchalvora, IndiaTimes.com.